Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you're new we do movie and series reviews with monthly wrap up tier lists with the occasional like kind of random ranking and game board content as well. And that is what we're bringing to you today as you can tell by the title. Um, again this is a strictly movie related channel in case you are new but I have got into the hobby. I become obsessed. And so I've been trying to uh, sprinkle a little bit on it here on my YouTube channel, but you can always follow me on Instagram. That's where I post like all my stuff there, my stories and all that good stuff. I recently did my top 10 favorite movies of 2022 so far. So I thought um, we would share our top 10 games. I know it has something to do with it because it's not the top 10 games of 2022. It's just our top 10 games from our collection which we currently are at about 70 something games but from those 70 something we've probably only played about 60 of them i think or 50 something somewhere around there uh but anyway i have five she has five we have two kind of honorable mentions of always, of course as always honorable mentions uh but they're more like party game or carnival card games little things uh we're not gonna get too much into it we're really not we're just gonna like get in here come out next one so first up is going to be the honorable mentions we have the mine oh, yes it's just a small little card game on so this much one. fun yes a, a lot comes into this little package very very stressful up next is taco cat goat cheese pizza destry has not played this game but it's also a card game super fun i actually played this um at work and my co-worker loved it so much that she actually bought herself a copy as well again no particular order okay we're just gonna no like order. pull them and maybe i don't know say two things maybe i don't know we'll see what happens hey my first one is Unfathomable. It's a long ass game, but I, you don't feel it. Yeah, it's actually very fun. We played, the first time we played it was, it was a stranger and it was really fun. She made it really fun. First time we played it, we played it about like 80% correct. My number one is Clink. Um, a deck building adventure. If um, for my movie people, kind of think Indiana Jones you're collecting cards you're going through a dungeon you're trying to get out of the dungeon and the village people will help you come out if you come out with a relic otherwise you're gonna be like Get up there. they're gonna kick you and be like you go back down that hole my next one eldrick horror this was long to like two yeah. hours two and a half hours i like these because it's like monsters mm -hmm. so yeah, I, I like them a lot. Yeah, I like those those hard we, fighting. Yeah, we like a lot of these horror kind of s games. We're not really into like cutesy games too much. Like I kind of been trying to incorporate a few like cutesy games, but we're not really about that life. I have one. Yeah, uh, I may have one. I guess Taco Go Cheese Pizza was a cute game. No way, I do have a, a, a cute game. Actually, I do. Talk about cute game. Wingspan. Ah, we are. Uh, Collecting bird parts and like get them into our aviary deal. This game, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, first, I mean, I care, I heard all the hype, but I would look at the stuff and I'm just like, oh no, that looks complicated. One at BGG Spring, thank goodness, otherwise, I still wouldn't have it. This is one of my most played games in the last month. Here's my cutesy game Quacks of Quillinderburn. I don't know how to say the crossover number three as well unofficial ranking of course yeah which like grabbing them i just find how it's cute and it's a pot it's a bag builder the first like two rounds are kind of like oh, no. and there's another one that we play at bgg spring that when i kept hearing all the hype about it i was just like i don't know i don't know about this and then we played it so much fun you're like put it's a push your luck bag builder and you really be trying to push your luck with it. Next for me is Lords of Waterdeep. This is a uh, set within the D&D world. Try to do D&D ones. I did join a campaign, didn't quite work out, but I really, really enjoy this one. It's like a um, worker placement, I think that's what it is. And you're building buildings too. I don't know. I really, you're, you're like in the tavern and stuff. And uh, building it's, buildings. It's, it's <laughs> fun. Mansions of Madness. Look how thick. Something. this top is this is one of our biggest well it was the only big game up until recently that Desiree won a game yeah. this was a, the other one's a little bit like taller I think I don't know if it's part of the Arkham Horror yeah it's part yeah. of the Arkham Horror Arkham Horror world that's where Arkham Horror like Elridge Horror this one's at base it has a lot of miniatures love miniatures I love them it's, I love it, the monsters yeah you're like Fun. you're actually building your um the game as you're going so every time you play differently because you don't actually set up a board game it's it tells you this is next and you're fighting monsters and it's 
It's awesome stuff. Last on the list, I told y'all, you guys, we're gonna like switch. I had to do it quickly because this one was not wanting to do it. I was like, all right, you're looking, but look at that. I have a cute little high ponytail. I put yeah. some mascara on. She's for a little for bit. For you. Before we do, give you our last one. Hide it. <laughs> if you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Um, again, we're gonna be incorporating just a tiny bit of more game board content, just just a little that I want to share. But if you are interested in the game board content from me, then definitely check me out on um Instagram. I'll put my little thing here. Link is in the description and all that other good stuff. Also, beforehand, let me just tell you, I was trying to do a different hyper challenge, uh, Lost in Translation, which I heard from Foster the Meeple and the second star from the left also did it. I didn't work. It didn't work out. I don't know. I'm just, you know, I'm not like all up there. And I was trying to like put the stuff into the Google Translate and translate, try to try to do different things. When I put it back to English, it gave me the exact same translation. So I don't know what you're using, people. Y'all can like give me the 411. Last but not least, let's do it up together. Horrified. I, I get, have All American. All American. I have the OG Universal. Universal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Universal Monster one. This is the one that we actually first started off with. Went and to BGG Spring. I think this one. Loved it as well. Yes. We got the chupacabra, you guys. No, we were brave. We played with four monsters. Four, yeah, it was, It was, we kind of cheated a little bit because we didn't really yeah. realize it was like Bigfoot. Bigfoot was hard. Um, after I was seeing their instructions, I was like, oh shit, we, we should have been dead already. Yeah. Um, loads of fun, love them. The minis in this one are better. Um, they each have like their own kind of contrast. Um, the overlays for the monsters are definitely better here. The minis are better here. I really like the map, how it looks on this one. Uh, the, the layout, the map. The layout, the map. It's more colorful. Ah, uh, I, I think it just, for me, it just kind of depends, I think. Cause I like both. Uh, but I do also like the, um, like the investigator, um, uh, your when you get your person mm. like for this one also I do like that one um, better and I like the bag that the token turned in this one better you like that I one like, better oh I like that one but this one's cool I don't actually get a lot of uh, expansions or by yeah I don't get expansions love this one so much got the expansion the only other one that I got an expansion for was for um, Lords of Waterdeep I got the uh, Skullduggery one and honestly I only got that so I can get the six player, which ultimately I didn't even need to get the six player. The other one that I would like to get an expansion is for the Quacks of Quinnberg. We want the overlay spillage, spillage thing. So I'm not exactly sure. I think it might be the Witch's Conjuring. Uh, but yeah, these are our five favorite games from our collection. Our collection. Uh, we have about a year and a half, right? I think that we started. Yeah, because it was like, I started like February 20. 21 with the storm winter storm yeah. right uh, but our first official board game that we bought well uh, was like in not until april so april 2021 up until now and um the collection has definitely been growing significantly uh but it, it does bring uh family and friends together whether they like it or not um uh, but definitely friends I've, I've i've reconnected with a lot of friends uh playing board games there are definitely other games that i play like on bga that are not incorporated but yeah this is our list uh share down below what are your top favorite games from your collection until next time, we'll see you guys at concession. Thank you for watching. Bye.